Hi, this is Patty Hankins with BeautifulFlowerPictures.com and I thought I'd talk to you today about using a tripod because lately I seem to be getting a lot of questions about whether we still need to use tripods for flower photography especially since we now have the cameras that with great high ISO performance and image stabilized lenses. And the answer is, at least for me, yes, I still use a tripod. It's one of the most important tools I have in creating photos that look the way I want them to. The first way that using a tripod helps me take better photos is that it really does encourage me to slow down. When I see something that I want to photograph, I need to stop, set my tripod up, put my camera on my tripod, and take time to compose the photograph. As I'm doing this, I get to really think about what it is that I'm seeing and that what I want to photograph. And also it gives me a chance to take a few moments and practice some mindfulness. A few deep breaths, a few calming thoughts, and I'm in a much better place to photograph. Another thing the tripod lets me do is really comp consider my composition. Once I, place my, once I set my camera up on the tripod and take the first picture, I can take a look at the LCD on the back and see, is it what I want? And if not, I can make adjustments so I can change the aperture and still have the same image. Or I can recompose slightly if it's not quite right. And it's very easy to do this when your camera's on a tripod and you're not having to guess where you were standing and holding your camera, like if you're hand holding. And finally, what a tripod does is by holding the camera still, it lets me take a steadier picture. When you're doing macro, the slightest movement can show up in your images. And with, when your camera's on a tripod, you can use a lower ISO with less noise. And if you use a cable release, a remote release, or a self-timer, you can shoot hands-free, which even reduces the chances of movement in your photo a bit more. So now that I've explained why I use a tripod, I thought I would give you a few tips in case you are looking for a tripod of your own. First thing to consider is the weight of the tripod. If your tripod weighs is too heavy, then you aren't going to want to carry it with you. I use a carbon fiber tripod that weighs just a few pounds, so I'm happy to carry it with me whenever I'm out photographing. But on the other hand, you need to make sure that it is a sturdy enough tripod to handle your camera. Figure out how much your camera body and your heaviest lens weigh, and make sure that the tripod is designed to handle that much weight. Because if it's too lightweight and can't handle the weight, then your photos won't be steady and you won't be happy with the results you're getting. Another feature to consider in a tripod is its height. You want to make sure that your height tripod is tall enough that you can see through it easily when you're standing up. Because if not, you'll be tempted to crank up the center column, which will make your camera and tripod less steady for taking your photos. And if you're using a tripod for flower photography, you want to make sure that you have a tripod that can get as close and low to the ground as you can so that you can photograph from different angles. It should have short or no center column, or else you can't get very low. I currently use a tripod with a swing arm, which means I can get it flat on the ground. And the final thing to consider about the height of your tripod is how well does it compact down? Because if you fly with your camera gear, you need to be able to toss your tripod in your suitcase. So make sure that it will fit. And if you do fly with your tripod in your suitcase, don't be surprised to find a nice little note from TSA when you get to your destination. They seem to always search the bag that has the tripod in it. I hope you found this information about using a tripod helpful. If you'd like more information about how I take my flower photographs, I hope you'll consider joining me for one of my Capturing Nature's Peaceful Beauty workshops. You can find out more information about them on my website at beautifulflowerworkshops.com. <laughs>